comes up. Then your metamorphosis happens, and then you become an actual person with a name. I have. I mean, he already always had a name. Yeah. He was just a little shy. <laughs> he didn't really want to tell anyone, you know, when people are stabbing you for a hand, whipping you, and electric you. Know, you kind of keep it to yourself. You know, you know what? If you do that, I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> no, no, one, no one actually said, listen, fella. We're sorry. We're sorry, and you know, if you give us the, you know, the antidote, let's take you down now. We're sorry. It's, it's, you know, we came into your your neighborhood, came into your cave, hit you in the head. We're sorry, buddy. But no one did that. So no, speak. Yeah. <laughs> How much fun has it been playing this character? It's not very often that an actor can pick a show or a character uh, and just go, that's the one I want to be. So when I watch Walking Dead, I want to be the one this character. You know, because I love that show, I love his character. You know, he's an incredible actor, he's an incredible character, incredible show. The Hundred is a show that I would watch. If, if I wasn't in it, I would, I would watch The Hundred. Lincoln is the character I'd want to play. And it's not often that to say that, you know, I feel really blessed. The writers and the producers have given me a great story. And the story I've just been pitched for season two is incredible. And I'm going to go home and do my homework, I've got to go and research, because they're going to take me to an even darker place. You know, I, I, was, I was blessed with, I caught uh, episode seven, it's the bottle episode, when I was tortured. Um, I said one word, you know, I said thank you for the end of that episode. But it was so challenging to keep everything in the face, to keep everything like visual and, and it was all... You want to be challenged as an actor, and the storyline and material I've been given is going to take me there. So it's going to go really dark, and I have to do my research. I can't just turn up just knowing my lines. You know, I need to study this and figure out what goes on in someone's mind and what happens. And what, you know, they're going to they're going to really challenge me to, to go places that I've never been before. And, uh, and I think all the rest of the cast are the same. You know, I've been speaking to them and, and learning about their storylines, and they really are going to push us. It's an honor to be trusted by the producers and the writers to, to, to portray what they want to say. Why do you go to research something, you know, in a, in a show like this, which is, you know, we, 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 do what, we, we do what the writers do. The writers, although it's science fiction, the writers, um, they go to the right, the right people, you know. They, they, they go to NASA, they go to, you know, psychologists, they go to some various people and they ask them the right questions. That's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on the internet, I'm going to go on YouTube, on Google, I'm going to watch films, I'm going to watch TV, different shows, things that have happened similar. You know, when, when, I, when I was cast for, for Lincoln, uh, I had lunch with Jason Rothenberg in, in, uh, in Beverly Hills. That sounds so terrible. In Beverly Hills. <laughs> I'm English, it still excites me, okay? Um, and he was like, yeah, um, touch points would be like, go and watch Last Night at Heathens, Apocalypto, go and watch um, Dance with Wolves, you know, all these different you know, films where you've got indigenous people, you've got different tribes, you've got people who don't necessarily speak in English, you know. Even, even fantastic films like I just watched uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, where, you know, all these, you know, apes are kind of just, everything's just all in their face, and you're watching apes going, they're better actors than humans. <laughs> But because it's all, it's, it's so powerful. Sometimes, the, you know, the unspoken word is more powerful. And that's why I liked episode seven, because I said nothing, but everything was always there. And the connection that Marie, after office, was able to give me, she's such a great actress that, you know, sometimes I lost myself in there. It, because we were in such a dark set and the way it was beautifully lit, I could only see Marie. And the, the, the amount of passion and the talent that she gives me, I get lost in those eyes and we're just doing that sort of thing. It's, ugh. Can we talk about that? Uh, that it, it's a dark show. I love the show. Um, that's my favorite. That's like the light for me in that show is yeah. that relationship between Lincoln and Octavia. Can you can you talk about what we're going to see in season two with them? You're going to see a, a big challenge for the two. You know, they are just these old. They're going to be the gateway into the Grounders into the Reapers. It's learning about Earth. You know, that's the only way we're going to learn about Earth. Uh, it's through their eyes. Uh, see, as soon as we start talking about Lincoln Tavia, things get sexy. 
<laughs> Let's go down. We move it in a little bit closer. Only if you look this way. But um. <laughs> So, um, Wait, I want one of those. So we're going to see, we're going to see the two get really challenged. You know, Lincoln's got this moral compass. He's a good person. Um, we're going to see that challenged in season two. Are we so, going to see more about his past? Uh, uh, we possibly will see. Relationships? We're, we're definitely going to definitely learn more about him and his his whole being, and why he is the way he is. Um, and he's he's going to get really pushed to a dark place. And, Octavia's going to have to learn to deal, to deal with this as well. The, the two are going to go through something very traumatic and very dark, and, and it's how it's, it's, it's life. It's how you it's how you react to such a situation. Um, and like I, I said before, it's going to be some really challenging, it's going to be really dark, it's going to be really fun. Um, and I can't wait for everyone to see it. You know, when it was pitched to me, I was my mouth was like my jaw was on the floor. I'm just like that. <gasps> I can't wait to go home and learn about this. I just want to do this, I just want to do that, I just want to do that. You want to be challenged and you want to be excited. You know, every day I wake up in Vancouver, I want to get to work. I, I'm like pushing production saying, wait, is, is the script out? Is, is that two hours? Is that three hours? Is that four hours? You know, we're like big kids. We're saying, you know, when's the next script out? And, oh, when are we shooting these scenes? Um, my first my first day was a stunt. And so I'm speaking to Marshall Virtue, our stunt for it. Bro, and so when, when can we pass? When can we do this? You know, when can we do that? You, know, you go home and you do your research because you're excited about the show. Jason said, uh, how's your horse riding? I was like, I'm all over it. Bang, what was I doing this week? I was in LA just on horses and stables, just learning to ride. You know, um, we've got a new language coming out. The grounds have a, a new, uh, their own language, which is going to come to, to light. So we're learning with David J. Pinson, who came up with the Game of Thrones dialects, Valerian, and all those different um, languages. So. That's another stream to our bow that we're going to have to learn. So I'll be spending time with my vocal coach and I'll be spending time with my acting coach and I'll be in the gym because we has got to be a warrior. So I've got to be back in shape even though I've been eating candy and chocolate all day. I'm allowed a day off. But you, you've got to do your research, you've got to you know, do your homework and bring it because this cast is going to bring it. You know? yeah. What was your most challenging uh, uh, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. What was my most challenging? Yeah. Episode 7. <laughs> Episode 7. Speaking without speaking. Oh, okay. Thank you.